All right, what's let me fix my hat. What's going on, my notary and live scan family? We're back today. We're gonna go over how to roll fingerprints on the ink card, the FD258. Okay, so you can purchase these from Amazon, and this let me show you is what you can order. Um your little kit you put the card in here lay it down got the ink pad but this is only convenient if you have an office which i do not i do it mobile so you unscrew these this ink stains your hands and we don't need this so i just carry this and a little ink pad and the card that's it so let me show you how to roll all right here we go i will put the link in the description <clears throat> so in case you want to order one of these which you should if you don't already so it does come like this i got ink all over this thing but let me show you what it look like when you open it even though i'm not going to use it it's just the ink pad and this this ink stains your hands and it takes a long time to wipe off but this um if you have an office this has a little uh rubber thing so it'll it'll stay in place has your holder for the ink i mean for the um fingerprint card but anyway i unscrewed it take that off put that over there anyway so normally what i do is i don't touch their hands Everybody rolls their own prints. Normally what I do is I'll have a practice sheet or you can go to Google and just uh, type in a fingerprint card and you can just download a picture of this. And if, if you need actual lines in here to practice on for people, um, but I don't. So normally what I do is I'll put a practice sheet like this in and then they practice roll a couple prints. So when you are ready to do prints, you see how it's far back a little from the edge? Don't do that. Put it as close to the edge as possible. The reason being is because you need room for your hand. Let me back this camera up. Yeah, it's hard to roll. It's easy to roll your hand if it's on the edge. But because you, you see how the bottom of my hand is hanging below. If it was up here, my hand would get caught and it would kind of sit at an angle up like this versus if it's towards the edge, my hand can stay flat. So do it on the edge. So this is how I tell them to do it. Make a fist and only pull out the finger that you're rolling with. If you have all your hands out, sometimes when you roll, your other hand may end up touching the paper. And if you have ink on it, it's going to make extra stains. So only pull out the finger that you're using. Make a fist, pull it out one at a time. Boom, boom. This finger, this ring finger is the hardest because the, the muscles, it's hard to get that finger out. So this will be the hardest one. Okay, but anyway, that's that. Let's practice for real. So as far as filling it out, whoops, you have, um, you assign here the date, um, your name and your FPC number, which you get after you get certified to roll fingerprints, okay? And then the signature of the person, the residence, they fill out that. You don't have to fill this extra stuff out, but don't, they should fill this out in front of you, at least the name and sign it because... You don't want to give them a blank card that you signed and then they somebody else signs the fingerprints and could be some some trouble 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 oh here it shows you you see it starts off right thumb right index right middle so it goes in order thumb index middle ring pinky all right so let's slide it in just like that good to go Okay, put it on the edge. And that's exactly what I have them do. Have them hold it. And you're going to roll corner to corner or nail to nail. So you roll it in the ink, sideways to sideways, whatever you want to tell them. Make sure you get ink. Well, this, this pad's kind of running low. Let me get some more ink on there. There we go. That's good. Okay, so we roll from the side all the way to the side so it should come out like a square just like that and i always i have a set that i've already done so they have an example of what it should look like 
See how it's all in a square instead of just flat prints like that? This is what it should look like. And it's not too hard, not too soft. It came out perfect in the bottom four. So I always bring this as a reference for them. So we have our thumb complete. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Next is our index. Roll the index sideways to sideways. Make a fist. Only pull out the finger you're using. Drop it down. Roll. Lift it straight up. Voila. Middle finger. Whoops. Drop it. Roll. Straight up. The ring finger. The hardest one. Drop it sideways. Roll it. Straight up. Okay. And the pinky. Drop it. Roll it. Straight up. Okay, simple. Exactly what we do. Pull it a little bit forward. Now we're going to do our left hand. Make sure it's on the edge. Okay, we're going to roll the thumb and get some ink because we got to roll corner to corner. All right, so let me try to get a good angle for this one. <laughs> Whoops, that wasn't supposed to drop. All right, so drop it, roll straight up beautiful we got the index drop roll corner to corner straight up okay and here all right but let's say they mess up okay let's say they're rolling and they do this way and they smear it up on well, that it still came out good i tried to smear it and it still came good but you can kind of Oh, it's still perfect. Let's say they... Let me just smear it on purpose. Let's say that just the print came out ugly. Like that. So you can't send that in. Well, you probably still could. That still looks good. Hold on. Yeah, I can't mess up if I try. Sometimes when you get too much ink, they put too much pressure. It does stuff like that, right? Where it makes it hard to read. So here's what we do. One second. I don't have it ready. We have... Back. Oh no. All right, these are called retabs, and these are little stickers you put on top, and you can roll on top of of your your mess ups. All right, um, so it comes like this, and you just take one off, like so. Lay it over. Voila, and we can do our prints over. So we got. That finger, and drop it, roll, pick it straight up. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's do our pinky, corner to corner. Straight up. Okay. Boom. So we got all our prints. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Lift that, slide it up. So now what we do is all four fingers okay when you do this um if you have if it's a man it probably won't work straight up or even a woman so it's better just to do it kind of sideways a little bit okay so this is just straight up and down all right that dab 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 fingers together cut the angle measure it in drop it down pick it up okay one two three four here measure it drop it down pick it up this one came out better than that one thank god i didn't get enough ink but anyway you get the idea if you have a, a fresh ink pad then you won't have this problem okay and then both thumbs okay then i always carry some alcohol wipes. I will also put these in the description. And I let them take as many as they want. Normally two. One to two is enough. So you can see. Let me wipe it off in front of you so you see. With one. You just give it a little bit of love. And it'll come off. That one that comes with the, with the whole set. Nope. You have to go home and take a Epsom salt bath to get that stuff off. Okay. So 
So it's pretty simple to roll the prints. I do not hold their hand. I'm not doing that, especially since the pandemic. I'm trying to keep social distance. Okay. Well, look, this is just with, with one. It gets most of it, so it's pretty, pretty good. You don't need two or three, depending on how much ink you get. Two should be good. They just rub it around for five minutes or go to the restroom if there is one by, but I'll always bring a wipe just in case. So, here are our prints. And they look beautiful. Let's get up close so you can see. Very clear. So that middle section where all the swirls is, that's what they need to identify you. Okay? Beautiful. But bam, look at that. My prints come out perfect because depending on the type of job you have or had or age, it wears your fingertips. People who do construction, gardening, um, nurses, if you wash your hands a lot throughout the day, you sanitize it, it'll wear on your fingerprints and it, it won't they won't come out as clear as this. Okay, so as far as filling out the top, we'll put the date. So I'll just put one, two, three. One, two, three. Sign my name. FBC number one, two, three, four, five. So this is what I fill it. Oh. Black ink, 100% of the time you use black ink. I used blue ink one time, it got rejected because I wasn't paying attention, but you always use blue ink. And sometimes they may have special, uh, they may want it all caps with everything you type or print on here, which will be for the person filling it out. Or if you fill out their ID information form, which is fine. But if they do it, just make sure they, signature of person being fingerprinted, they do that. Um, residence, their address, they can fill that out before they do the print so there's no ink on their hands. Um, employer, reason for being fingerprinted. And that's um, pretty much it. Their name and ID information here, or I if, if needed, date of birth. But anyway, this is just how to roll prints, not how to fill it out. But you see, it's pretty simple. Make a fist, pull out the finger you're using, and you roll corner to corner and lift it straight up. That's it. All right, Notary and Life Scan family, we got it. Now you know how to roll prints. If you're not already certified to roll fingerprints, you might as well go get it. It only costs you whatever it costs to get the live scan. And uh, you fill out the application and you're good to go. Okay, then you can advertise. You can roll ink cards. And as far as pay, um, the average, I'll do 65 for two cards. And so that's... That's within uh, a 10 minute drive time, which generally in my city, that's all it takes is 10 minutes. So um, 65, two cards, and it only takes me 15 minutes max. Once once we meet up from the time we start to the time we finish is 15 minutes max. Okay, trying to get in, get out, be friendly, uh, build some rapport, get a Google review. All right, and get out of there. But I have seen some places charge $80. You can do that. Um, you, depending on how the drive, how fast they need it, if it's last minute, obviously you can boost it up a little bit. And how do you get business? So um, two people that, not two people, but there are two reasons why I that I've had multiple fingerprint cards needed. I can't think of the words, but people call me and say, hey, I need this. And these are the two reasons. Number one is concealed carry license. So in California, you want to have concealed carry, you got to have the ink card. You can't do live scan. It doesn't work. You need the ink card. So concealed carry. So if you, you know, I was thinking, I wonder if you can rent a booth at a gun show. That would be pretty good. That's a good idea. I'm going to have to check that out. We're in a booth at a gun show. Can you imagine? Obviously, I would charge a discount. If I just did like $30 or $25, all the people that show up at a gun show. And these cards only take... Man, I'm going to check that out. Um, immigration. I've done a handful for immigration. I don't do ink cards much. I don't promote it as much as I do live scan. 
but uh, immigration. So if you go talk to some immigration attorneys, if they aren't already certified to do fingerprints, and I have heard that they would charge over $100 to do prints. Because obviously they got overhead and expenses and all kind of other stuff, plus their attorneys. So once you're an attorney, your price is quadruple. Um, so I'll go talk to some attorneys, some immigration attorneys or immigration anything. Um, and they may be able to bring you or you may able to be able to bring you some business. All right. So that's that. Got any questions, preguntas, call me, send me an email, text, anytime. Thank you. Love you. See you later.